Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about transclusion, which is essentially a technique that allows you to pass in content into a component from outside of the components template. Transclusion is implemented using the concept of content projection, which is a way of including content in a component that is not a part of that component's template, but rather passed in as a parameter. <clears throat> if you're familiar to React, it would be similar as passing the children to the subcomponent. So in order for us to get started, let's go ahead and create two components. We're going to create one component called the, let's call it the box component. And once this is installed, we'll jump right into that box component. So we'll go into the box here. <clears throat> so let's create the box component with transclusion. So usually it would have, for instance, let's say, We'll go ahead and add uh, some clause to it, box, and here we would want to, to transclude. So, whatever you pass in within the box should be appearing here. So, in this case, we can go ahead and do ng content, which using which is essentially using the projection. So, going to the CSS file, we're going to just add some styling. So, we'll make a margin 10px, box shadow. 0 to 4 RGBA and we're going to add some box shadow. We're also going to make it uh, with some radius. So now imagine we have this component called box. Now we can copy the selector of the box and go to the app component. Everything is now in the root module. Usually you would have a shirt comma library for this. But imagine now replacing the box here, right? It will receive some, some CSS and so on and here we can transclude whatever we want. So we can either decide and say we want the box to be the wrapper component or we can say we want to have some set elements within the box. So in this case, in this particular case, we have everything can be transcluded. So we're essentially setting the, the logic or the content from another component. So the way it works is essentially, as I mentioned, with content projection. So it projects this here and it is inserting it here. So let's add some padding to it. So we'll go ahead and padding 10px. And you can see now that we have one component and we cannot really determine on how to place the title and the content. So what we want to do is we want to transcode the title in one place and the content in another place without having to think about it. So the way we can do it now, just playing around a bit with the transclusion, we can say, hey, this is the content and we want to select whatever has the the let's say header, and then we have whatever says the content. So now we can pass in, as you can see here, everything was removed. So now we can go back here. So in order for us to actually transclude and place them within the places they should be, we need to add this to the H1 tag. So adding header here, will essentially map it. And here we're saying select, and then within the square brackets, we have the name of it. So it will select the header from here, and we can say this is going to be the content so that they will select it. So it does not matter in which order we have it. What matters is in which order they come here. So for instance, here we have the content first. Does not matter because the content is going to be prompted after the header. So switching around here won't make any sense. Where you are going to switch, if you would want it to be in this way, you can switch it in the component file. So does it make sense to have transclusion at all times? No. Is it nice with transclusion? Yes, it's nice with transclusions. And for instance, I will just break down to why transclusions might be a problem in some cases. Let's say we have an enterprise application in this way. We have 50 people working in this enterprise application. We have a box where we're transcluding content, which essentially means we're leaving the design to the developer to insert the header and the content in such way. So imagine we want to we want to have a standardized H1 tag for all of the boxes we have. So in this case, it does not make sense to transclude it every time. It, it's rather a part where you should have a property or like a input property here saying title. So for the title here, we would go ahead and do this. And usually I recommend avoiding to use the title because when you hover it, it will prompt the title. So, so, so you should go with box title in this case. So in this way, we're creating a input property in the box component named 
books title, we'll just give it a empty string as an input. So this means that we can standardize how all of the H1 tags should come here. So we can say, all right, we're go just going to print the box title that we're passing in. We're going to place it within an H H1. And here we can add, uh, we can add some log CSS to it. So every time a developer in this enterprise application uses this box component and inserts the title, it should look in the exact same way. So we're removing the the logic from the developer to actually make sure that it's being styled as all of the other boxes so this is one way you could or should do it rather so for instance sorry i'm having copilot running crazy so now it does not matter how what content you add or how much content you add the box title will always look like this so this is one way of actually creating a box component I would recommend not transcluding the title. What I would recommend is transcluding the content in this case. And the reason to why you want to transcode the content is really because imagine you could have a box and you want to be able to insert whatever you, you can think of within the box, but the title should always be in a specific way. So the content could be, it could be a table, it could be form fields, it could be really anything. So in this way you want to transcode it. So also when you transclude it, you can handle the, for instance, a form logic. If it would be a form, we could handle the form logic here with some input fields. Um, and obviously now, since I removed the content, I need to add it back. But in this case, I would also recommend that when we have multiple things, please do not add a name or a selector for it. If you know you're only going to have the content, make it easy for you and remove this select tag because this is going to look for you to add it and it will become difficult and this needs to be properly documented in order for other developers to understand this so i would recommend removing it if you only have one thing you want to transclude in a set of place if you have multiple things obviously they should be named so now if you go back to the app component you should be able to just remove this form and whatever you insert here is whatever will be the content of the box so, my friends, this is one way of using transclusion and one valid case of using it. We can always talk about pros and cons, transclusion, like for instance, makes it more easy to reuse components as we showed in this case. Uh, it becomes a more flexible way of utilizing components. Uh, but transclusion can make the structure of comp components templates much more complex, as I showed you before. It can be quite difficult to debug. For instance, if you have multiple selectors as you're transcluding, it can be difficult for people and, and like across an enterprise application to, to really do this. So I hope this gave you the, the basic knowledge of transclusion and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. All of the best. Bye.